Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number six. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. We are here for the French Elite Invitational now. We are going to our Baguette in Brothers across the ocean, across the channel, whatever. <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be taking the Renault Clio V6. Uh, start off with Maple Valley, moving on to Sakuba, and then we're going to Sebring Short Circuit, the other side of Sebring, which is pretty cool. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Daddy, what's up? How are you today? Oh my god, <laughs> it cringes me out every time. Oh my god, the Renault Turbo's in this game. Oh, now that is a beautiful car. How are you doing, though? Hopefully you're having a good day, my dude. Beep, beep. There is a dog barking its ass off down the street. It's a different dog this time. To the one that normally has been barking a lot. There we go. The interior is really nice of this car, actually. Beautiful interior. I'm pretty sure this clear spot, if I'm not mistaken, was made for the... Um, when they did the rally clear in the rallying and I think they just made a performance version with a similar sort of body style because I remember the rallying Renault Clio had that really wide rear end on it takes time to know where your heart is at takes a man to be real Not bad. So yeah, we're now finally not in an overpowered car for our category. This one's actually... Sl it's equivalent to the highest opponent, but it's underpowered according to the um, actual recommendation, which is D350. But yeah, last time we took a Volkswagen, which was in C-Class, which was over the D350 limit... And then we took a B-class Mustang as well. So. But it let us, so I'm going to take it. You know. Not bad. I'm going to save that replay because I want to use the Clio for this thumbnail because it is beautiful. It's a lovely car. Not bad. No, I don't want to save it again. Let's continue. 5,500. We're now level 1 with a Clio. We now have a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Renault. These upgrades are available on cars made by Renault. <laughs> it's a bit self-explanatory really, isn't it? Alright.
I think we should hook up the PS3 at some point. Plug the PS3 in and uh, get some uh, motor storm action on the channel. Get out the way! Do you know one thing I really wish um, PlayStation would bring back? I don't know whether it was on the PS1, but I know it was on the PS2 and the PS3 controllers. Pressure sensitive analog buttons. Like they were analog buttons. Brilliant. So with um obviously we got triggers now. I would like to keep the triggers because even though the PS2 did have pressure sensitive triggers, an actual physical trigger is a lot easier to press. But like actually having like pressure sensitive face buttons you would have like analog buttons they were awesome they weren't just oh you press the button and it's on or off like there was a degree of on or off to the face buttons it could be like 50% 75% you could throttle control with the X button it wasn't just like, ah, oh, you have to spam the button. Like, you could throttle control based on how much pressure you put on it. It's brilliant. <laughs> I would love for that to make a return to PlayStation. Or if PlayStation won't take it back, so, uh, Microsoft, get on with it with Xbox. Because it is a useful feature. Really cool. Because it can add a level of interactivity when it comes to gaming. Like, oh, tap the buttons gently. So you have to press it gently. Or tap the button hard. Spam the button. You know. There we go. Result. Five thousand six hundred. Not bad. Uh, you now have a ten percent discount on fuel system upgrades by Magneti Morelli Europe. I've heard of Magneti Morelli. Nice. They do the. Uh, they were a massive sponsor in a tourist trophy, I believe. All left. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, one thing I want to check up. Does it actually have uh, the updated track with like up to... No, it's still up to 2004 on here. That is kind of interesting. So clearly they've used the same track. Maybe this was a potential track um, that was supposed to go into... Um, what's it called? Maybe this was supposed to go in Motorsport 1. So they had done the scans for it. And that's why it goes up to 2004. Because technically the 2005 race hadn't happened when Motorsport 1 came out. Could be. 
But it's definitely the same scan of this track as it is in Motorsport 2. Again, I think the quality is fine anyways. It's not that bad. I think they've just tweaked it and tweaked how the game renders stuff. So that it looks a little higher quality. I don't think they would have actually like upscaled all the stuff. Because upscaling wasn't that important back in the day. I said back in the day like this game's old and that I'm old. Fuck me. Oh, that's getting to me. Every single time I do that, gets to me. <laughs> like, fuck! The funny thing is, right, we're going to be... I think it's going to be a long time before we start getting close to finishing Motorsport 3. I think Motorsport 3 will start seeing progress sort of November time. I think we'll be about finishing off November, maybe December time on uh, Twitch. On YouTube, it will probably go until January, more than likely. This is a new age. Roo -roo. Depending on how much content I can get from this game in the next few weeks, um, I may end up doing double uploads while I'm away. If I've got enough for six weeks of content, could do it. Could be done. Not bad. Loading menus. Please wait. Six grand. Woohoo! All right, so we're here for the saloon road test one. We're going to be taking the Saab again. Uh, this is now upgraded to D-Class. Start off with Sakuba, Twin Ring, and then New York Circuit. Let's get going. I got an itch on my ear. It's annoying. All right, let's go. I, th I do find the rims on the Saab really weird. I'll be 100% honest. They are odd. One more time, I want to celebrate. Mm, celebration. See, the one good thing about this series, once we're finished with Motorsport 3 and 4, Motorsport 3 and 4 are the best of the Motorsport series, but the rest of the Motorsport same games are still good. Um, obviously not the best, but they are still good. One thing that we do have going for us on this series is the fact that the Forza Horizon games, other than Horizon 2, to, for my definition of completion, is just completing all the events. So Horizon 2 is going to be a long game because of how it's structured. But Horizon 1, 3, 4, and 5 are actually going to be quite short. So, especially once we finish with 4, we'll have a nice short break with Horizon. Um, that will probably only be probably up to about 30 videos, not even. If it pushes 30, that, that would impress me, to be honest. Um... And yeah, it's just a nice little bite-sized bit of Horizon before moving back on to more motorsport stuff. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance with me. One more time, music's got me feeling so free. I wanna celebrate. <laughs> 
One more time. What a tune. See, I'm glad that copyright laws exist because it means that it's fair. But sometimes I just wish copyright was never a thing. I'm not gonna lie, this engine does sound really good. For a Saab, I am impressed. Granted, the 0-60 isn't amazing, but who cares about the 0-60 when you've got a growling engine like this? Celebrate and dance with me. There we go. Result. Saving Ghost. Cheers. 5,600. We're now level 2 and level 10. We got a Lotus Exige Cup, 240. We got a 10% discount on oil and cooling upgrades by Saab, exclusively for Saabs. Let's have a look. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. Oh, that is stunning. The cars look so much better in this game compared to the older ones. So much better. That's no good for me. Honestly, right, there are a few songs. Like, I love the Prodigy in general. But there are some songs that just slap differently. Like, they are so much better. Granted, the rest of the songs are still good. But some of their songs are just out of this world. No Good is one of those songs. Along with Five Star. I mean, come on. That thing is just, like, asking for trouble. I'm a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Wow, wow. It is good that these races are much shorter. But uh, hopefully we do see some, uh, what's it called? Some slightly longer ones, but not substantially longer. Like in this game, starting out, having short two and a half minute races is good. They're moving on to three and a half minutes. The next segment, I wouldn't expect them to be any more than four minutes. Maybe five at a push. The segment after that, I can't see them being any longer than six minutes. It's been a while since I played this game, so I can't really remember too much, but... It's only the World Series at the end where I actually expect them to be substantially longer. And even then, I think on my test account, I tried out one of the World Series and managed to finish it in a 45-minute sitting. So, granted, that was one of the lower ones that only had about four or five races, so...
Not bad. Woo! Got 5,400 there. I think we're moving on to New York next. So uh, before we start this race, one thing I want to point out, the kinks are here on this track. So uh, for anyone who watched my Motorsport 2 playlist, you'll notice that um, obviously New York has been around. It was in Motorsport 1. Uh, then in Motorsport 2, they added it again with like Motorsport 2 branding, Welcome to Forza 2, all that stuff. Um, but on the actual diagram of the track, it showed that there was a kink on this straight over here. Um, and when... So the little diagram and the map showed a kink in the racetrack. But there wasn't actually a kink in the, in the track. Um, now this actually shows that there's four sets of kinks. And those kinks actually do exist. But I am very intrigued as to why they were gonna add it. They didn't add it. But then added it to this game. Interesting to say. Do, 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 do. Ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. So this one, that kink really is only for fast cars. The slower ones are still... Are just going to breeze past there. Nice. I can hear someone vacuuming and it sounds like a small demon squealing. Bing bong, bing, bing bong. I just so wish YouTube didn't copyright videos. Because I'd love to have the game soundtrack in this game. I know for uh, Motorsport 5, 6, and 7, they're all composed soundtrack. There isn't actually licensed music in that. So I could leave the music on for those games. But I again don't see the point because I'm going to be running music on Twitch at that point. So it would clash. Not bad, though. 4,700. We're up to level 3. We've got a 10% discount on fuel system upgrades by Motec Europe. These upgrades are available in cars made by Audi, BMW, Koenigsegg, Mini, Porsche, Saab, and Volvo. Lovely. I very much will appreciate it and accept that. 5,800 credits. Result. Very nice. All right, so we are here for the normal aspiration runoff. Uh, we're going to be taking the Alfa Romeo Brera, starting off with Sunset Peninsula Raceway, moving on to Suzuka Circuit, and then Maple Valley Raceway. Let's go. All right, here we go. Unpopular opinion. I'm not a fan of the circle rims that Alfa Romeos have. Like the uh, 4C, the 8C, and this. Not a great fan of the circle rims.
We're going up the inside. Got him. This car was always my go-to car in Test Drive Unlimited 2. If anyone's played Test Drive Unlimited 2 and has played the Asphalt 7 series, this was basically one of the only cars you could take. It was beautiful. Fit the scenery of the game perfectly. It was the perfect car. Slow down. Lovely. Holy shit. How is there so much of a gap between some of these cars? They're already split off between everyone else. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cheers, uh, Bluetooth speaker. Please charge. My headphone battery on. Fifty percent sounds good. Uh, I got a lot of things to get prepared for when I go away. Battery pack. Got to buy one of them. Result! I got six grand there. Nice one. I've got a 10% discount on air filter upgrades by Green Filter Italy for majority Italian cars. Cool. All right, here we go. Suzuka. We're starting in grid spot number six. It's a good start so far. It is definitely, uh, I don't know if there's a pattern to the grid start position, but it's not based off performance because I have the fastest car here. So I'm actually kind of curious as to what decides the grid start in this game. Because uh, I, I doubt it simulates qualifying. Because if it simulated qualifying, my car would be at least in the top three. I mean, you look at the distances that has been gained already between these cars. Da -da -da. Fucked it. I was trying to do that one-handed. Had an itch on my ear. Let's get that position back. Get your ass back here. 
FBI, open up. Oh, shit. FBI, crash into your car. Not too bad, actually. Room, room. And there we go. Not too bad. I will take my rewards. Thank you very much. Are we level 11? No, not quite. All right, here we go. Ram. Good start so far. Gonna have to stand up after this, stretch me legs. I love how it's re like the UK, the past few days has been about 22 degrees, which is nowhere near the heat wave that we were suffering. Um, obviously, at the end of the motorsport uh, two walkthrough, or towards the end of it, um, we had the first heat wave, and then it sort of cooled down to about 28 degrees, 27 degrees, so it wasn't ridiculous, but it was still warm. Uh, and then we had a second peak of that heat wave, literally the day before we started recording Motorsport 3 again. Uh, and the day before that was... So the day before we recorded Motorsport 3 was a Sunday. Uh, and that was... How hot was it? 36 degrees Celsius. Which... For you Americans out there, it's really fucking hot. About 100 Fahrenheit, something like that. Getting close to it. Um, which is unbelievably hot compared to the British normal weather. And all of a sudden, three days later, it's now 22 degrees, which 22 is normally quite, quite a nice weather. It's quite warm, not too bad. No. After a 36 degrees heat wave, it feels like it's 5 degrees outside. We actually started getting used to how warm it is, and now it feels cold. This is like normal, typical British summer weather now. That we would normally accept. It just feels cold. Also, I just had a YouTube video pop up on my phone about NASCAR's perspective of a blind fan. That's uh, kind of interesting, actually. I may watch that later. I thought this song was going on for ages. It's bugged out the app again. It was supposed to be playing Ruby by the Kaiser Chiefs. 
Great. I pressed that button again. I don't need it, but I pressed it. I would disable it, but I want it as a safety measure, just in case I absolutely fuck up in a endurance race or something. <laughs> that safety measure is stay in. We've now got a 2009 BMW Motorsport M5 E60. And we've also got a 10% discount on camshaft and valves upgrades by Alfa Romeo. Lovely. Let's have a look and see what this beam is like. Woohoo! I got my money. Oh, it's a lovely car. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.